Um, hi, welcome. Today uh, we're going to talk about my recent trip to the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, uh, tackling the Silver King, the tarpon. Um, this was my first trip actually targeting tarpon. I've, I've had a couple of shots that hadn't worked out so well for me in the past, um, but this was my first dedicated time um, actually hunting them. So we went and looked at a couple of different lodges, uh, one called Tarpon Key Lodge and the other um, the island of It's the Holbosch. Both in their own right great baby tarpon destinations. These are fish typically uh, 5 to 15 or 20 pounds in shallow water. Both of them at the right time of year also have the chance of catching much much bigger fish. I was there in June uh, so a bit of a crossover time um, but as I was still finding my feet, I stuck to the baby tarpon. It really is an interesting way of fishing. Um, a lot of saltwater destinations you go to, uh, you have your wake up around seven o'clock in the morning, you loading into the boats eight, nine o'clock, you're on the water, and you fish through to four or five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, but that's not the case with these tarpon destinations. They get you up really early. Uh, you get a knock at the door at about 5 a.m. with a coffee, and then you're in the boat for six o'clock for the sunrise. And the reason they do this is the, the tarp and they really like the low light conditions. Uh, but also as the day gets on, uh, the winds pick up and it then gets harder to fish. Uh, so you really focus on those morning sessions. In the morning, there's a possibility of finding fish in open water, uh, generally quite shallow, one to four feet deep. Uh, but these fish are rolling through the waves and hitting bait and it, it's a hugely exciting way of targeting them as you watch the fish moving in bait schools towards you. The other way is actually poling the boats into the mangroves and working in and out of these tight channels and before you know it the fish are upon you. Sometimes you're only casting 10-15 feet from the boat and before you know it the fish have leapt onto your fly You've terrified yourself and you've almost fallen out the back of the boat. That only happened a couple of times. The great thing with targeting these tarpon in shallow water is the use of surface flies or lightweight flies so they're right up in the surface film and it allows you to, to cast and work your fly. You're watching the fly and all of a sudden through the black water you'll see a flash of silver as the, bit, as the tarpon smack the fly and then without any pause they go straight into the air and it's then potluck whether your fly stays in or not. I'd hate to say how many I lost but it was greater than 50%. Once you get these fish on the end the fight is incredible. The leaps they jump everywhere, if you're in open water you're fairly safe when they're jumping, uh, the only way of really losing them is um, them actually shaking free of the hook. When you're tight in the mangroves however they when they leap they go up through the branches and it and it really is potluck or whether your line gets wrapped up and you'll end up playing a mangrove for five minutes rather than a fish. So the setup when we're when we're targeting these baby tarpon we went with um, lightweight rods so nine feet in length like tr your traditional saltwater outfit but then eight or nine weight rods rather than the bigger 10, 12. The fish they do fight hard, um, but they don't need that backbone and you don't need that backbone of a, of a 10 or 12 weight to cast the smaller flies either. The leader setup is, is key, it's much lighter uh, than you would ordinarily expect. Um, quite often fishing either 40 or 50 pound shock leaders rather than going for your 80, 100 pound. And it's quite noticeable um, if you put on a 60, 70, 80 pound shock leader, you actually get fly refusals. So making sure you have that lighter leader is, is definitely important. Top and Key Lodge um, is really a very, it's a very rustic destination. It's perfectly comfortable. Um, it's a nice way from Cancun that you're away from the hustle and bustle of the city and you're in a traditional Mayan part of the country. So you're away from that tourist area of maybe Playa del Carmen, Tulum, that type of thing. 
Uh, so there's this wonderful relaxed Mexican vibe about the area. The rooms are spacious, comfortable, with air conditioning. Um, in the morning you literally walk down the stairs, have your breakfast, walk out the door and the boats, you, you're almost stepping into the boat from the door. And then 10, 15 minutes you're on, on the first flats catching tarpon. It, it's an incredible uh, location to be and, and definitely one for Probably the more serious angler, you, you wouldn't necessarily want to be there as a non-fisher. It's a whole bush on the other hand, um, it's a great relaxed fishing lodge, a little bit um, higher in spec than, than Tarpon Key, uh, a bit more comfortable. Uh, you've got the wonderful island of East the whole bush itself with its many sort of beaches and various activities which are perfect if you're on a combination trip either one way you're doing half a week fishing and half a week relaxing or one way you're taking your family or partner and they want to do something other than just stand in a boat fishing all day. Believe me, it, some people do actually want to do that. When you're based at East the Holbosch, again like Tarpon Key Lodge, you literally walk out from your breakfast down onto the beach and your, your guide and boat are waiting for you. I mean, you could almost flip a coin uh, sometimes whether you go straight out from the lodge to the main migratory spots or you actually go into the lagoon and target uh, the baby tarpon and snook fishery there which is which is wonderful. A little bit further drive each day um, to get to the fishing uh, you're looking at maybe 40 minutes to an hour inside the lagoon and then maybe half an hour to 40 minutes to the first flats outside of the lagoon but actually you leave early enough that you get a great amount of time fishing um, and you're, you're back for actually two o'clock in the afternoon so you have a good amount of time to go off and do the tourist aspect as well. Reaching is the whole bosch is, is really simple. A lot of the time we've got the direct flight from the UK into Cancun, uh, a quick overnight there, there's some wonderful hotels available uh, and then you're picked up two hours in, in a bus along actually very good tarmac roads uh, into a small fishing port, you get hop onto a ferry, 20 minutes later you're getting off onto a sandy island where the only transportation are uh, motorised ATV uh, taxis and the rest of it is bicycles or walking and it's just a beautiful Caribbean relaxed feel about the place. The fishing at both Tarpon Key and East of Holbosch is probably more limited than the, than the fisheries further south such as Punta Allen because you really are only fishing from a pole boat um, but the species diversity is still there. You can still target barracuda, snook, tarpon, uh, it's the whole bosch. There is a chance of catching permit and bonefish, but certainly not a reason to go there alone. Whereas, say, further south at Punta Allen, your main target species are bonefish and permit with the chance of catching tarpon. Uh, a nice thing you can do is actually combine both within one trip. You can do half a week in each or maybe a week in Punta Allen to get your, your sort of prized permit and three days fishing up in one of the tarpon lodges to, um, to jump the Silver King. The wonderful thing about Mexico is obviously the direct flight from the UK makes it very accessible. Um, the people are wonderful and friendly there. Um, you never really feel uneasy. Uh, the food is great and uh, actually accessing all these different lodges. It, it's actually very simple from that one flight to Cancun. Once you're at the lodges, the guide teams are, are great. They're full of experience. They've all been working at these various lodges for a long time, uh, and they really know their species very well. For me, as a first time tarpon fisher, I never felt uneasy or out of place. They were very good at explaining what I needed to do, changing flies and explaining why they were doing that. The, the amount of shots you got at tarpon each day was just mind-blowing. You could mess up as many shots as you liked and there was always another chance coming your way to, to get it right. So as a, as a place to go to learn, it's fantastic, you will, you will get it right. But don't be put off as an experienced tarpon angler because there are places you can go that will test even the most experienced guy and chances of catching actually some really, really big fish, even big baby tarpon, right the way through to your 100 pound plus migratory fish. So I thoroughly enjoyed fishing for tarpon, the, the jumping, the 
casting into tight spaces, the surface flies, everything about it really appealed to my sense and, and I really can't wait to get, get back out to Mexico and do more of that. Hence why I'm taking another group back there uh, in March uh, next year. Um, you can't keep me away from that saltwater fish. I hope you enjoyed my video today. Um, if you did and you want to see more like it, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, we're going? Yep.